What's going on everyone? It's RGB back here again. In today's video, I'm testing out the Game Hub emulator on this old Snapdragon flagship device in 2025. And this is the Samsung Galaxy S21 FE, which is powered by the very hot and powerful Snapdragon 888, almost a four-year-old chip with the Adreno 660 GPU. This phone has only eight gigs of RAM. Well, you know it's a bit on the lower side in Windows emulation for heavy titles as of today, but if you have at least 12 gigs RAM or above, it will be more stable in terms of holding. So anyways, here I have already installed the latest version of the Game Hub emulator. The same settings also apply for other Adreno 6 series GPU users, like if you are using 870, 855, or whatsoever. So currently it's on the latest 5.1.0 build version, and here I have already imported some games from the storage. Same as usual, you can import more games if you want. Just enter PC game and choose the game file you copied from the PC. So anyways, let's begin with this game. Go to PC game settings. Set screen resolution to 5454p or lower if you are using a low RAM device. Enable Mango HUD if you want the FPS meter. In compatibility, this is very important. If you are playing old titles like DirectX 10 or lower, prefer Wine 9.5 version. If it's demanding, it will use the Vulkan driver or Proton layer. It's all based on the game. But no worries, it will automatically get configured based on the game. You just need to make some changes like translation parameters. Set it to extreme or performance. Here the GPU driver is set to turn up 25 driver, surface format to RGBA8. And that's it, these are the recommended settings. So let's get into it. Do follow the timestamps mentioned below in the description. Already this phone started heating a lot. The aluminium frame is already burning like hell. But anyways, the performance on this is really great after many updates of this emulator. Stay my blade from the flesh of the innocent. Hide in plain sight. Never compromise the assassin brotherhood. These are the tenets of the creed. The principles I used to live by. I was a young man then. The Seven Years' War was about to begin. I could not have imagined what the future had in store for me, nor the cost I would share.
So yeah, that's all for this video, guys. Honestly, I'm really impressed with how well the Snapdragon 888 is still holding up in 2025. Even though it's a four-year-old chip, the performance in here is surprisingly solid. Of course, the heating is real, but the gameplay is still smooth and enjoyable for mid-tier titles after all these emulator updates. And if you have a Snapdragon 888 or 870, 855 devices with 12 gigs of RAM or above, it will definitely be more stable and consistent especially during long gaming sessions or holding heavy titles. If you found this video helpful, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications so you don't miss any updates. And thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.